We are back. One more set to go here in Friday's prelim competition at Craig Ranch Regional Park. 2024 NXL Las Vegas Major going down the first big event of the year. Manny Marshall with Rich Telford. This one could be a good one. San Diego Dynasty and uh, Red Legion and Tampa Bay damage on the Hurricanes and damage dropped their first game to Notorious. Don't know what the odds were on that, but man, that's uh, Notorious might have made some people some came money. Up big. Yeah, and uh, jumping into point number one, Glare's getting pretty bad from the uh, side where Dynasty's starting yeah, as the sun getting the low field. in the sky. So the shadows are getting long. And you'll see how this one's gonna go down. You can see there on your screen is our eye in the sky. The shadows are very, very long. Five on five break though, as Legion able to get Karzlev very quickly. And, and Rich, he loves this move. And, yeah. and lots of teams do. Why? I love it too. Yeah, because people are making it way more often than they're getting shots. A pretty good risk versus reward. Both teams. Four four man. Yeah, losing a body. It's a four on four situation. Looks like J Rab taking the walk, and I think Archie Montemayor. So two of the big killers for these squads. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. The the risk is low and the reward is high, right? This is one of those places that people should be really regularly, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, and, and occasionally, guys, especially as I think tomorrow we're going to see teams start figuring out ways to shoot that body. So maybe the guy will start getting shot a little bit more often, and we'll see tomorrow morning if that. That's the case, but until that happens, as Marcelo Margot taking the early walk. Four on three advantage here for the Red Legion. Red Legion gets to the Snake Corner, which is a very strong anchor bunker over there, Matty. Red Legion now up to Snake onto Dynasty side of the field, looking to wrap and shoot that Temple. He, he might have got that shot just because of the glare. Just yeah, see. It, it's getting pretty bad. So Karzlev makes a count, gets a shot in on Freji. Freji, gonna, Alex Freji, gonna be hosting the Summit Awards on Sunday evening. That'd be cool. That should be entertaining at least. Uh, well, I, so he sent me his uh, his intro speech. Uh, if, if you're out there listening, you're on the fence of whether or not you want to go. That's the, I promise you, his intro speech will be worth it. the price of admission. Cannot wait to hear it. It's hilarious, and he's like, you can't share with anyone. I'm like, okay, well. I am going to tell people how funny it is, though. <laughs> so it's basically then, a roast. Yeah, yeah I, I it's like wait. the beginning of it's a roast. So the teams that are breaking out from the east side of the field, they'd have a disadvantage because the glare of the sun is coming right into their goggles. It's really hard for them to see up the field. But then the next point, you switch sides. You have the sun at your back, and you have an advantage. So winning the first point, and theoretically that second point is crucial here because then you go into that third point with the advantage side of the field. The big thing is in this situation, you cannot drop one from the blue side. From the strong side. Yeah, so essentially with the way the glare is, you're gonna have a decent advantage. Uh, and we've all been in this situation. Hopefully this is why you carry a visor in your bag and just do your best. But, yep. and then uh, looks like Tampa Bay Dam is gonna roll some dice and send a Rainey all the way up to the middle. We had Rainey up here earlier and he got some good reads on this field. Oh, damage losing two at the same time, Matty. Five on three advantage here now for the Hurricanes. Nobody this side of the field at all for damage, Matty. Yeah, it's Rainey's the only guy, and he's in the middle. Yeah, Rich, it's looking really good here for the Hurricanes to try to seal up this first point. And they lost their first match, right? Uh, yes, they did. No, no, Hurricanes beat Iron Man. They, okay. I, I, damage won their, a lot for their first match. Oh, look at this. We got players going by. Oh, nope, it's eliminated. Hurricane's now coming down this tape, man. He's gonna win this first point. Well, they, they almost slept on Rainey for a second. Yep. So Rainey came through, did a little bit of damage, but unfortunately for him, too many bodies had died behind him already. He had just talked about this too when we had him up earlier for a set, how frustrating it is as a front player, because it happened a couple times during the game he was calling, where the front players were doing their job in the back. And everybody dies behind you. And yeah. he's like, yeah, that gets a little frustrating when you're up there and you're in a good spot, you're at a 50, and all of a sudden you're losing your back players. Yeah, you got two or three guys shooting at you, and you're like, just all I need the guy to do behind me is just feed me information, put down a little support. Why am I not getting the information? Why am I, oh, that guy's dead. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So now all yeah. everybody's shooting at if me. If it gets a little quiet, yeah, mm -hmm. probably head check back. That's a little scary. I still yeah. got my back. No, okay, uh, people are okay. People are dead. I'm, I'm gonna try something crazy here. Well, and, that, and that's what we say about when we're kind of doing clinics on communication, right? It's it's talking back and forth, but it's also listening. Like if you're having a conversation with somebody, and all of a sudden that conversation stops, that guy's probably dead, right? And and instead of having to ask or try to figure that out by looking across the field, if your communication's good, you just know, hey, that guy's not talking to me anymore. He's dead. So now Dynasty gonna be on the blue side. Legion gonna be looking into the sun. Legion up by one. So we'll see if the uh, red side of the field can win a point. Because if you can win a point from the glare side, just huge. like not losing one, for, yeah, huge. From the blue, yep. Red Legion loses their first player, Malloy, going to the snake corner, kind of the anchor over on that side of the field. Yeah, it's a huge kill anytime time to get Malloy off the like field. Dynasty also lost a player, Maddie, so it's a four on four. Yeah, Frazier taking the early walk for San Diego Dynasty. So not, not much, uh, not much action over here on the D, uh, on the D side for Dynasty and the snake side for Legion early on with those deaths of Malloy and Frazier. Fill out from Justin Rabkoff going from the back center to the small temple on this side of the field. At the same time, a re other Red Legion player goes from the temple on the D side out to the corner D. But it looks like 
Dynasty's up in there, Snake Matty, up in uh, that wing on the top side. So Red Legion's got to watch that player across the field getting those kills. Yeah, they got Danny Schonauer at arguably the most important bunker on the field, yes. which is the wedges yeah, it's, I don't on both sides. I don't even think there's an argument. Yeah, I just got to throw it in there in case. Yeah. You could argue that that one is different than this one somehow, or yeah. better or worse, but these are the two most important bunkers on the field. And th as many players as you can cycle through those positions, as much time as you can spend those positions, the more successful you will be. Well, Rich, you know, coaching New York Extreme, in case people are just tuning in for this match, why are those wedges the most important? Where Danny Schoenauer is here currently, and we're looking at it on the screen. He's, so he's number four there. For it's, it's a big dominant bunker, but what makes it so dominant is the fact that it's a soft corner, so all the bunkers in front of that are pushed in, They're which inside. allows you to go to that wing and wrap around, and and you're also right-handed going in there, so you're right-handed against a guy left-handed, and you're in a spot where they can't sh keep you from wrapping. So if you can go in there and just win a gunfight, Theoretically, when five gunfights, you can shoot the whole team. <laughs> yeah. We've seen it a couple times. Uh, yeah, I, in, in practice, we saw it quite a bit, yeah. especially if no one saw that guy go in and got a quick. quick well, Sergey's in a spot to try to get the drop in on Danny, and I don't know if Danny is aware Sergey is in that position and gunned up on him. Now, right. Danny is just focused because, like you said, it's a soft corner. So all those Doritos in front of Danny Schonauer for Dynasty on, on that top set. side are in set. So he does not gunfighting directly down the sideline with any mirror or anyone in front of him. They're in front of him, but they're in set. So he can get that wrap, establish yeah. that dominance. Now does have to worry about that inside wedge, though, where Sergey Sarnaiskov is just posted up, and Danny to, waiting for Danny to make a he's mistake. He's super disciplined. He hasn't looked up inside one time. He's been on that hard wrap the whole time. And by doing that, it keeps Red Legion from filling out that way into his gun because he's wrapping and putting pressure down the tape. But it also makes him, oh, he misses that gap, though. Red Legion player gets in a Dorito 2 over there. He needs to move one more Dorito forward in order to kind of put pressure on Danny. Sergey has completely committed to that move, and, yep. he, Dan, and Danny has no idea. He's got to make his first shot. Danny oh, and he's feeling pressure. the pressure. Yeah, Sergey needed to make that first shot, like you said, Rich. And if, now, if Sergey stands up, which he can't because he's in that middle and he's a really tall guy, if he stands up, maybe just for he a moment, shoot he could shoot down and I get agree. that shot in on Danny. And he's trying. So he's trying to do that right now. Oh, he just barely missed Danny's Danny. just sensing that pressure and staying away from that pressure. Yeah, Danny's doing a really good job of surviving. And now Sergey is completely dedicating his gun that way. Um, he's the only gun that side, though. And then because of that, he right, ends up man. getting two yeah. tunnel vision on that kill. Yeah. And it cost him his body. Well, everyone was kind of watching what Sergey was doing as Ryan Greenspan snuck in this side of the snake and the blue side and shot Sergey. But the that's back. another factor when you have a guy up there so far as the thorn in the, in the Legion side. Somebody has to do something about yep, that. 100%. And if, if you get two tunnel vision on it, then that's going to cost you long term. And Ryan made him pay. Well, and typically you put a guy up front like that, you put a guy in a spot to protect him. So when they try to go get him, you get a bonus body off of that. But this isn't one of those fields where you can easily protect the guys in the center because they can get outside to boat tapes. They can go forward on boat tapes and get penetration, go past you and basically back shoot you on either side. Yeah. Longer point here. We're in point two. We're already down to 10 minutes and five seconds left. Again, Dynasty from the side with no glare really needs to win this one because they're going to go right, and, and it's just going to get worse. Glare's going to get yep. worse. Until it gets completely Until it gets dark, completely gone. It'll be fine. Yeah, and then you're all right. No glare we're, at all. We're not there yet, anybody, though. The sun no needs glare. to basically get below the net in order for that to happen. I like this. Ryan Greenspan, very, very sneaky going up. Gets the cross field shot. Does not miss his shot. Two packs so far for Ryan. Yep. And they're just now figuring out where he is and what he's doing. But they're not in a position to do anything about it. Dynasty now pushing down the top tape, knowing that both the guns over here are focused on Ryan. They're, Ryan's absorbing the pressure, which's allowing them to absorb the real estate over there. And we talked about closing from the middle. So uh, they basically, Arturo cuts on the inside, Ryan launches, and they basically pushed him into Ryan's gun. Great job by Danny, excellent job uh, by Ryan Greenspan, and uh, and it looks like Arturo as well too. And Archie Montemayor are in there as well. Beautiful, beautiful point for San Diego Dynasty. Yeah, perfect execution by Ryan Greenspan there, right? Oh, yeah, it was it, it, it all by just, himself on this side. No other players for Dynasty over here. Yeah. Bunker by bunker makes perfect moves. Doesn't miss either of his two cross shots, inside shots, and just finishes the game perfectly. Very high level yeah, play. Yeah, he, well, he sensed it. With all that pressure going towards Danny, and there were guns looking Ryan's yep. way, but he just knew the moves. He knew all the angles. Danny was sucking up all that pressure over there. Came through and he got those crucial two that got that two pack to kind of soften the lineup a little bit. And uh, and then Ar 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 uh, Archie was behind him. And I like how Arturo cut to the inside because Danny had that contained over there. Yeah. A little bit of a risk because if Danny dies, then he's going to have to find a way to get back uh, over there. But it worked out perfectly for Dynasty. Yeah. 
So now Hurricane's up by one on Tampa Bay damage, but they're gonna be on the glare side. Tampa Bay damage in the shadows on that blue side. Hurricane's four shooters out of the back center. Then two quick bumps. Hurricane's now taking a big bite on that bottom side, Matt. He gets into that snake. Those guys are making it a lot, man. Secondary moves into that spot. A move up the middle right now for Tampa Bay. And looks like Camp's gonna get the shot in on Rainey. Yeah, and again, it, man, it's it's tough to protect that guy up there, right? It's basically you're on you're you're on your own island up in the middle, and you just gotta do the best you can. We basically protect him by shooting the guy, by filling. killing everybody yeah. on one table. Yeah. The other. You have to fill. You have yeah. to shoot the fill, and if you shoot the fill, then that's the protection. Because once that guy makes it up there, it's it's it is a risk. You know, again, yeah. beginning of the game, as long as the 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 snake is slower developing, yeah, middle's great. Uh, and then a finish that, to close points out, middle strong. In middle, in the that, the middle moments of the match or of the point, it's way more risky. Yeah. And like Rainey is the guy you want up there, right? Creative, proactive, can see the whole field, communicate, can, can play off what everybody does. But still, he's in a funnel, right? He's in the middle of three other players on one side, two other players on the other side. And the amount of points he's going to be able to go up there and wheel and deal and stay positive is, is going to be minimal unless you can keep the team from going outside. If you can keep the team from going outside, then man, giddy up that middle all day long. So Hurricanes, I think that's Camp. Camp's been playing that spot in the, up in, in that, up the wedge, top. yeah. He's been playing it really well, too. Yeah, yeah. Good explosive if he shot on the break and then took that wedge all the way from that back center. Moved well. The Hurricanes are a little beat up again with some injuries. No Pate, uh, Nick Ripple playing with a broken foot. So they're gonna have, and then um, I think Britt also dealing with a bit of a knee injury. So, but but both Nick and Britt will be playing. It's just at what capacity, right? Eighty like percent, seventy-five. So then you know, see right, uh, Camp, rest of the boys really need to step up for the Hurricanes, and, and they did. They won that first game. It was a very close battle against the Ironmen, and it would be huge if they could pull off this win against Damage, especially because Damage already dropped their first game. Yep. So I mean, it's been a while since Tampa Bay went into day one or ended day one without a win. And and the last time we had an unconventional layout like this was Texas two years ago. And who won that? Tampa Bay Damage. Right. Well, I think the big advantage Tampa Bay Damage had at that event is it was a non-layout layout. So really kind of the smarter players played better and played well, right? Because they were kind of learning the field as they went instead of uh, doing 70 or 80 points on it. Tampa was kind of soft on this side, Matty, but now they, they put two bodies on this bottom side in a position to kind of push up into that wedge. Yeah, a couple nice repositions and yeah. secondary moves out for, I think, Agent Smith and, uh, and Edwards. Yeah, and uh, Hurricanes didn't make any repositions off of that, right? If you see those guys getting outside of you, there we go. There's the reposition from back center out to, out to the temple. But if you see those guys getting outside of you, you've got to be proactive, right? you got to get back outside before they get up on the tape and keep you contained in the center. For sure. I mean, if you want to win. <laughs> Another long point out here. Uh, the first one was quick, though, so still 11 minutes to go. Both teams communicating well, trying to figure out where the bodies are. Very close game here, 1-1. One -one. Yeah, seeing a little bit of Sunday pain power right now. Neither, other than the first risk, so Rainey with the risk, Camp with the risk, and then now they try to drop the hammer. Is Keith Brown going to go and bunker out? I is think that if you'd ask Joey, he would tell you they're always playing Sunday paintball. I don't think that was camp. Couldn't see if that was for Hurricanes. They Regardless, just Keith many. just bunkered him, bunker him out. But they just but, dropped two. But then, uh, who, uh, oh, Hurricanes uh, dropped a body over here yeah, that was that, that, on their that D side. Of, the temple. Who shot that guy? I couldn't see. Smith? I think it was Smith wrapping in the drill, but I couldn't see. And he was struggling with the glare. Yeah, so Four it, it was three advantage so here it was, for Tampa Bay. Uh, Bailey. Over here taking the walk from the D side. Keith Brown taking the walk for damage. And I couldn't see who that was. That might have been Ripple or Camp. I think it was Camp. Oh, three on three, man. <clears throat> I forgot we lost Rainey early. It's getting a long point. I was like, I forgot Rainey was in this point like five minutes ago. Well, and, and because, yeah, so after that uh, exchange on the snake side or top side and the Bailey's death, now three on three, yeah, could it elongate the point even yeah. more? You guys are going to start running out of paint. Tell everybody what an island drill is, Maddie, because this is. Basically, you should have been doing this drill on this field, and if so, you're going to know exactly how this is going to play out. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so, 
When we say somebody's on an island, that means that you are by yourself on a, on a side. That's it, just you, you know? So you have to figure out, you put a little bit of time on the clock and make people close. And it forces you to, it puts you in that, that specific headspace where you have those learning moments. So when you get to this situation, you're not puzzled as to what's going on. Yeah. And you understand kind of the way the, the, the field flows, right? Yeah, what do you need to do to close? And you do that a bunch of times, yep. so you're getting different looks on it. So Smith's crawling up now into that crucial wedge spot here for Tampa Bay. Uh, looks like Hurricane's able to filter Bell out, and he makes it out alive to try to counter this move from Smith, but and he's really, still in the backfield. The really important information on an island drill is understanding if you're the island or not on the island, right? So you can understand, are you attacking or are you just trying to stay alive? Yeah, sometimes it's obvious and sometimes it's not. And sometimes it switches back and forth, right, depending on if you have those really good players or transition. Yeah. Who dies and where, where do yeah, you need to 100%. flow up the field in order to be in the best position possible? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's super long point here. 8.30 now on the clock. Which guys is, running out of paint. It's kind of good for both of these guys, right? Both of these teams like this kind of, ooh, three on one advantage now for Hurricane. Ooh, where, where are these kills coming from? It's the middle. Might be Stuart Ridgel. Is that the middle going through? Yeah, I think it's... Yep. Yeah, Stuart Ridgel making his presence felt. He gets the kill That's on nice. Edwards, uh, 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 the elder, and then runs down ooh. Jason after shooting out Smith. So a little three-pack. Jason lost some weight, huh? Yeah, Jason looking yeah, pretty I, slim. I was like, what are you doing? You lose some weight? I was like, you've been sick? He's like, no, man, I'm just tired of carrying all that around with me. I was like, good job, buddy. That was a real good job by Stuart Ridgel here in point number two. Finding that seam up the gut. For the three pack to close. That was massive, because that was a three on three. Damage was in good spots. If and then we talked about, again, the center. The potency of the center is in the beginning and the close, 100%. because when the pressure goes out, meaning pressure, where, so where is everyone looking? Where are the guns going? So here's here's so here's the replay. So here comes so and then Jason thought he shot him, so didn't though. So here's it from an opposite angle. Looks like Jason had the drop in on him, and so so Stewart was trying to get the so he got the shot on Smith first, then gets the shot in on Jason. Jason complaining saying that he shot him, and then he goes to finish it off to complete the three pack and shoots Jacob. That's an awesome close. That's definitely going on the list. Uh, money being given yeah, out by that was Pate, a big, Pate Smith that Law. That's a big point. So Pate Smith Law uh, specializes in property claims against insurance companies. So if you're out there looking for somebody to represent you, get your insurance company doesn't want to pay your money. He's your guy. He's doing God's work out there. Tie ball game right now. Dynasty now back on the glare side. One to one is the score. Three to five advantage here for Red Legion. Ooh, and a major a penalty. Major penalty assessed oh, on San Diego Dynasty. Five on one advantage for Red Legion. Yeah, this is, uh, so is going to be over pretty quick here. <clears throat> so, looks like Karzlev going to trade out with Schonauer. Does still leave Yoshua in the back corner. Or no, was, who is that? Throwing different head wraps on right That's now. That's Brian Cole. Yeah. <laughs> 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 BC? That Ryan? Who is that? Maybe Blake? As Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, okay, with, Ryan. With Ryan with the visor. Yeah. That, that throws you off. I haven't huh? seen that in no. forever. I haven't seen that in 12 like years. Like Ryan Cole come out of retirement? I mean, it's Vegas. I yeah. can see him Why coming not? out of Vegas. If I'm going to play one, it's going to be Vegas, baby. So real quick Legion point. good there. Yeah, real quick point for Legion. In the pits right now with Legion. Let's listen in. He looked all the way down like this, and then he just crawled. Yeah, the crawl. Yeah, the crawl. Yeah, the crawl. Yeah, the Eight minutes and 11 seconds left. Two point lead for the Hurricanes. Damage. Damage drops in the break, Matt. Kind of struggling today. They did shoot a body, though. So four on four situation. Four on three, Matty. Four, oh, it's lost two. Yeah, four on three. Ooh, four another on one dropped. Yeah, four on two. Not looking good. Damn, it's a head scratcher here, Rich, for, <laughs> for Tampa Bay, day one. Gonna have to get Joey up here tomorrow morning. Diagnose the issue. God, I wish. Uh one thing I would love to do on Go Sports is have us filming like those meetings, and I don't think you could play that at that at that event. But just the intensity of those kind of meetings when a team goes out well, we've and had a, performs. Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of that over the years. Yeah, yeah. Different situations. I just, I just wouldn't that be exciting to be in that meeting tonight? 
if I could just watch it, yeah, absolutely. that's what I'm saying. Just, uh, just uh, be in the meeting. A, no, no, just be a fly in the wall. <laughs> just a like, fly in the wall and be like, "Ooh, Joey's chewing you out." If Damage loses another game today, I mean they're losing 3-0. There's still a lot of time left in a lot of Tampa time Bay left. Damage, yeah. they're, and they're about to get off the glare side again. But if they drop two games, yeah, man, that's gonna be a pretty, uh, pretty heavy meeting. Not gonna be a fun one. No sir. Been some upsets today, though. Yeah, it's been a great day of paintball. It has been an entertaining day. Definitely sure. got blessed, especially in the. Uh, I mean, there was a couple upsets in the morning. I mean, Bears started off with the upset over you guys, Ugh. and then, uh, uh, and then Notorious with a big upset over Damage in the afternoon. Uh, PB Fit you could say upset over ML Kings. Heat looked good today. Revel looked good today. Revel with two wins. Yeah, it's, and then X Factor looks outstanding. We'll see who's going to go undefeated between uh, Dynasty and Legion. Dynasty had to come from behind victory against AC Diesel. Yeah, I mean, those guys, those kids are super clutch, man. They're so good at coming back from a 4-2. I mean, it's not an upset, but it still yeah, was very like entertaining expect, to watch. It would be an upset if they didn't do that, right? Like, you kind of expect them to do that. And again, maybe they don't execute it perfectly, but they won. They had four minutes left. They won a point with two minutes. They won another point. I mean, it just it was textbook Dynasty. Yeah, I think it was like 2.30-ish left. And Todd was asking me, what do you what do you think? And I'm like, well, it's just really, I was like, AC Diesel's do, but it's so hard to bet against Dynasty. For sure. Well, they're down again. So if Dynasty does find a way to win this game, there's a lot of time left, 8.22. If yeah. they find a way, that'll be two come from behind victories in two games. Dynasty with five in the pocket. Red Legion with their player all the way on Dynasty's side of the field in that center wing. But they know he's there, so they're going to release to go get him. Looks like yeah. a trade. Alex Frazier oh, drops the hammer. Oh, two more Red Legion players get stopped at the same time, Matt. Did he stay alive? Well, are referee going to come in and check out Frazier? Only two Red Legion left players. Yeah, and as we're watching that, Rich, as you're watching over there, yeah, the body's coming off all over the place yeah, here for four Legion. Four-on-two advantage, Dynasty. <clears throat> Looks like they're going to come back, win this point, get into this match. Tie it up. Well, if it keeps going this way with the blue side winning every single point, then it just be it's just going to be at the end. Whoever ends up on the red <laughs> side is just going to advantage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the shadows are so it's starting Skinny's to become. So, Skin Kevin's over there doing the time math. Like exactly how much time do I have to spend where I end up with my last point on that side? Yeah. Though it is getting to the point where it's going to be dark for everybody. Yeah. So the um, the already here towards our side. Uh, Back center is still an issue, middle an issue, but everywhere else is getting kind of to be okay now. Yeah, yeah. It's really just kind of that, maybe that center tower in the back center, huh? Yeah. They look like they have a spotlight on both of them. And it's starting to get cold. Ooh, I just, I just caught that feel of that wind going up. It's going to be real cold tomorrow. Well, not, not like Midwestern winter cold, but it's going to be 39 tomorrow morning. Or Cal Cove. Yeah. <laughs> not that San Diego. Oh, out where I live in San Diego, it does get cold. It'll be in the high 30s occasionally. But only for a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> Even, uh, Legion having some discussions over strategy here. Still put that point on the board for Dynasty. Let's get a look at this replay. There's Frazier launching. Yeah, so Kirill was looking that way, but it doesn't look like he put a ball on Alex, even though he's asking for it. Frazier's saying, hey, I, he didn't shoot me. Where am I hit? Kirill's lucky he didn't get a penalty there. Yeah, referee comes in and checks him out. Kirill, yeah, he, he, tough to tell if he spun in the sense that when did he actually get shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Because if he's tracking Frazier on the run in and didn't get shot as he's tracking him, then that's not a spin. And we just don't have that angle. Uh, but if he did, that movement will draw you a penalty for well, sure. Also walking forward and then coming back and pointing out that you shot the guy. Okay. Oh, they're talking after yeah. you hit? Yeah. yeah, I mean. They've already called two, two today. I know. It's one of those things. It's a, it's a razor's edge. I, I don't really... I don't really like throwing penalties for those situations. Nobody does. You know, guy get it, let, it, let a guy get a, a couple words in. Kid made a good move. Yeah. Hey, he's hit too. Yeah, let him say that. All right, so Hurricanes up by three on Tampa Bay. Damage Tampa Bay, though, back on the blue side. Hurricanes drop one on the break, Matty. Five on four advantage for Tampa Bay damage, although they do have a referee running in. Looks like damage is okay. Five players left alive. 
Three across the back road, snake insert, and this wedge on the bottom with Rainey. Yeah, so they switched Rainey to this uh, snake now. Well, that middle wasn't working. Yeah, not, the, not, not in this game. Oh, who caught Rainey there? Oh, back center. Caught Rainey a little sloppy on the wrap. And that's sometimes it's tough when you're coming and playing a new position that you haven't been playing a lot of reps in. Those first couple of looks, you gotta got a feel for that pressure spot. Yeah, Hurricanes going forward into Tampa Bay Damage's side of the field. <clears throat> Nick Ripple did take the walk, though. But Hurricanes own the snake. Four on four here, Maddie. Tampa Bay Damage again on that blue side. Hurricanes from the red side. A lot of time left. Plenty of time for Tampa Bay Damage to come in the, back in this game. But in my mind, in order to do that, they're going to have to start having a little offense. They're going to start going forward on one of these two tapes. They tried going forward at the middle. It didn't work. They tried passively coming down to this tape. I think they need to put an emphasis going through that top uh, top snake, especially when they're blue side, and especially when they're right-handed. I felt like they were doing that in game one with uh, Keith quite a bit. I didn't. I couldn't see. Yeah, it, I mean, it was working pretty good for him, oh, but look, not good enough. Damage is up in their snake now. All the way on the hurricane side of the field. So they're mirrored up cross field from each other. Yeah, so I mean, Keith's been getting taking ground over there. Yeah, he has. And he looks so fast, man. I watched his first breakout this morning. I was like, oh man, the wheels are on tight. Tampa Bay Damage doing a good job of filling two bodies out to the snake, Matt. That's really going to help get back into this game. But yeah, the battle definitely developing because there's a body right in front of Smith. Got that wedge. <coughs> Smith is there, so good on your in these one on ones. So it's Britt, Britt Simpson. Tampa Bay Damage done a good job. Two bodies on each tape now for Tampa Bay Damage, Matt. Yeah, four on four situation. Uh, pretty even as far as the spread you can see here in our Telestrator with Keith Brown at that crucial wedge and then Britt in the crucial wedge for the Hurricanes. Keith Brown for Tampa Bay. Agent okay. Smith right in front of Britt. Yeah, they're going to come oh, get Oh, and Agent Smith gets the kill on him. So ball dropped here by the Hurricanes. Still a... <sighs> It's not a comfy lead with 5-12, but no. if they can draw this out a little bit, even if they drop this one, win the next one, still could get this win against Tampa Bay. So pressure is definitely on Tampa Bay as they have not put a point on the board through 10 minutes of regulation. Four on three advantage here for Tampa Bay. Yeah, they also have the advantage side of the field. And again, Tampa Bay damage dropped their first game, so desperately need a win in game number two. <clears throat> or we'll put them in a uh, full must-win situation tomorrow in both their matches. Do you know who they're playing tomorrow, Matty? <clears throat> Sorry to put you on the spot. Uh, no, yeah, so it's uh, they play Infamous tomorrow. That could be tough. And they play the Ironman tomorrow. That could be tough, too. Yeah, they don't have any soft games tomorrow, so they need to win this game. Well, they lost to the last, the bottom seed in their yeah. bracket. Yeah. Oh, sorry, second to last. Ironman of the bottom seed. One on three advantage for Tampa Bay Damage. Just one player left alive in the Hurricanes. He's an anchor in the corner there, just waiting to die, basically. Hurricanes going to burn off as much clock as they can. Here comes Jacob Edwards. Jason. Oh, Jason. Jason, skinny version See, of Jason. Yeah, it sucks when those guys go back and forth on their weight, right? Because <laughs> from a long ways away, that's kind of how I track them. Oh, so you want Jason to stay fat? No, that's I just want up. just to one of them stay fat and one stay skinny mm. and let me know which one is which, right? Sw <laughs> quit switching back and forth. Like Jacob was faster and smaller and skinnier, and then Jason's smaller and faster and skinnier. It's very confusing. Jacob's going to lose. <laughs> 20 pounds yeah. before the next event, just because you said that. So here, looking on the replay, so as Rainey stands getting shot out, but then uh, uh, Smith mm -mm. Uh, sh uh, clocks in to get a shot on Britt, and then, uh, and, then, and then here comes uh, skinny Jason Edwards with his blazing speed. Oh, extra bonus balls a little bit there. That's unlike Edwards. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's cranky because he hasn't been eating. <laughs> I'm fucking nailing my ass. Blood sugar's a little low. <laughs> this is the glycogen, hey, bro. Right Give me your pack. I need I got it right here. Exactly. You say I need a cheesesteak? Yeah, baby, come I would on. love Literally, a cheesesteak right now. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, those donuts and coffee this morning might have saved my life. Five, yeah. No, it wasn't him. Red Legion getting ready to break out from the blue side, the advantage side of the field, playing against Dynasty. Dynasty's looking into his son. A couple of those spots, very close game, two to two. Yeah, you can see. I mean, Dynasty <clears throat> eyes up over their goggles. Hands as visors, never a good sign. Never a good sign. Red Legion drops one. Five on four advantage here for 
Red uh, for Dynasty. Dynasty. Uh, Red Legion drops another one. Well, five big, on three advantage. A, a big move off the break. Essentially, it looked like uh, Arturo was going to go. Well, both teams actually pushing the issue from their D side, getting into the snake. Better field position currently, though, for uh, for Karzlev is he's now onto Dynasty side of the field. Tense moments, but still 7:05 left to yeah, go. Yeah, a so lot of time, time left. To play. But Arturo made the run on the opposite side. He just stayed at the wedge, whereas yeah. Kirill, or, uh, Karzlev went past it. Oh, oh, Yost tries to make the move, gets caught. Ryan. Greenspan. Ryan tries to make the move on the highway, gets caught by Sergey in the uh, D2 set inside, protecting the highway. That was a really important kill. It's going to give the Red Legion an opportunity to get back in this match. Dynasty with the back left. Arturo has now made the identical move and gets a crossfield oh, shot yeah. to Arturo. Andrade clocking in to get the kill. Crossfield kill on Sergey, and that is massive because that leaves Karzlev all by himself. So talked about being on an island. Karzlev's on an island right now. Yeah, four on two advantage. And here, com Dynasty. And here comes Arturo. Arturo's going to run in and try to trade out to complete the two-pack, but did he put a ball? No, he's, a, he's clean. Oh, the crowd didn't like that call. Here goes Archie. Oh, Archie's going to stitch up Karzlev. Great timing from Archie. But did Karzlev pull the trigger and trade out with Archie? He, he did. did. Wow. I can't believe he was able to trade One with One shot on his leg. Such good... But, one, a, one. but a nice little reposition from Marcelo Margot. He gets out wide. He sees the chaos. He filters out. They do lose Frazier, but it looks like either Frazier or Margot was able to get the shot in on Kirill. So I think it might be a one-on-zero one on zero right now. And it's going to take a moment for, I was going to say take a moment for Marcelo. But so Marcelo <laughs> didn't know what the count was. N not his fault, because that was crazy. Uh, but you could see he was in the spot looking. Is there anyone left alive? Am I in a one-on-one? -on -one? Do I have to win another one-on-one -on -one to be a hero? And heard the concession. Did a little fist bump. Okay, we got that one. Yes. So Dynasty taking a lead. Yeah, no matter how how confident you are on your skills on the paintball field, when you're not sure where the other bodies are, you get real uncomfortable real fast. Like if you know, hey, there's three guys here, it's a three on one, you're like, yeah, I got this, I'm gonna pull this off. When it's one on one, but you don't know where the other dude is, your stomach is stick, everything's or, tingling. Or it could be a one on two. You, you, one don't, on know, you don't know yeah. what situation <laughs> you're in. You don't know. Yeah, just the way that that shook out. That was an interesting blow-for-blow blow battle. Uh, looked like Arturo was going to get that two-pack. Uh, two Did not get the kill on Kirill. But then Kirill, I think, maybe traded out with Frazier. Uh, it might have been our, uh, Mar uh, Margot as well, too. And the, but it started with Arturo getting the crossfield shot and then the run-through from Archie is a uh, very interesting uh, conclusion at that point. So Damage dropping too early, Matt. Five on three, advantage for the Hurricanes. And a penalty assessed. It's going to pull out Keith. So. Might want to think about conceding the point, and they are. So Joey Blue, quick on the horn to save the time. So going to be a three-point deficit for Tampa Bay. Very close to the Hurricanes going undefeated and damage. Not able to win a game, but it's not over yet. Quick turnaround for Dynasty and Legion, though. Let's listen in real quick. Hurricanes with the lead. See what the vibe's like They're in the pits. Dig deep again. Hey, listen. Hey, look for that. Go hey, listen. Go They're going to go spade that Dorito. Okay? And you know Rainey wants that center bad. You know he does. He's good up there, even though yeah. we've shut him down so far. See you, Ranch. So, hey. Okay. Uh, the only thing I heard was the. Hey. Huh? I know it's not, because we, we plugged the holes. I need to shoot lower. A shoot lower. Slight delay. I like that. Hey. I need to shoot lower. <laughs> need any paint? <laughs> Pop the toppers. One point lead for San Diego Dynasty. Can they put the finishing touches on this one? But there's still 546 to go. And on the breakout, looks like five on five. Good breakout for both squads as Legion launches up to that mini wall. Here comes Dynasty inside and out route for Arturo. They Yosh. are going to be losing Yosh, though. Un uncharacteristic early death for Yosh and an uncharacteristic early death for the Molloy. Four on four, Red Legion to the first of the snake on the top side. Yeah. Nice to drop another body. Four on three advantage for the Red Legion. <clears throat> it's Margot taking the walk. So, yeah, slight advantage. Now the Red Legion played for Legion, play. and then they throw it away, though. So it's a three on three. Might be a two on three, though, as Dynasty's losing Arturo. Man, the bodies are dropping all over the place. There, so. there has to be a little more consistency with the refs, because some guys are getting shot in the pack going in the snake, and it's a one for one. Some guys are getting shot in the pack going in the snake, and it's not a one for one. I don't care which way it is, but they got to do the same for Here the comes sides. the push. There's Archie Montemayor trying oh. to steal the point on the top side snake, and he does. Two on two, right? And he, and he goes through. That's a great move by Archie over there. Yeah, it gets, gets caught. Yeah, it gets caught, so it leaves just. Is that Sergey? Uh, no, Kirill, Kirill again. 
And Kirill, nothing Kirill could do in that situation, so they need to concede this point, preserve the time. Man, Archie's so clutch. So clutch. Yeah, that was a huge move. Got the drop in on him uh, as far as the move. Made the big move up there, caught him sleeping. And that was the difference maker as the bodies were trading back and forth. And it's it's Archie reacting to what happens over there and uh, Kirill and um, whoever else was over here for the Red Legion not reacting, right? They kind of stayed in their spots. Archie saw what happened, yeah. took advantage of it, turned the corner. Big boy point. <clears throat> trading kills back and forth, trading moves back and forth. It's just who's going to be the difference maker the move. in those big situations. Happened to be Archie in that one, and now we're in the pits with Dynasty. Did we shoot Sergey off the break? Yeah. <laughs> Hurricanes a three point lead over damage. <clears throat> this would be another upset. Because as good as the Hurricanes are getting, you still got to take Tampa Bay on the odds if it's a straight up who's going to win situation. Tampa Bay right up the middle, gets bounce going in there. Oh, two Hurricane players take the walk, Maddie. Yeah, so this is the break that Tampa Bay may need. Yeah, they need to push the advantage though. 334, not a lot of time to mess around when you need about a minute and 10 seconds per point. Yeah, and you know you're gonna have to dig the Hurricanes out. Oh, Hurricanes down to just one left alive, Maddie. Just the back center, and that's a very vulnerable position. This is a perfect situation for Tampa Bay, right? Tampa yep. Bay needed a quick one. Uh, bring that margin back to two and preserve some time. Still need to finish out this last body in the back center at the Herds can. Randy Stanzik comboing with Edwards to get that last kill. We're not going to see a concession because the Hurricanes have a lead, so they got to run in and hit the buzzer. Three minutes. Look for the thumbs up. Point is good. Two point ball game with three minutes. That's a completely different situation. Hurricanes need to stay in this gas pedal, Rich. If they go hardcore defense and let Tampa Bay start running down the field, I agree. They got to beat the them move. on the tapes. <clears throat> Next line coming out for San Diego Dynasty. Looks like it's going to be Greenspan, Frazier, Margot. Oh, Schonauer having a problem with his gun, though. Might be calling a timeout. No, nope, looks like he's good to go. And then Legions has been running that same starting five. <clears throat> with a couple Tell the wheels fall off. Yeah, a couple alterations here or there, uh, at least in the last game, but I think we've seen just a steady dose. Yeah. It's hard to bring any one of those guys off the field for you know, as long as you're not tired or hurt for any of the guys on the bench. Looking over the shoulders on the breakout as J Rab and Sergey gonna stay in the back center, but just a moment for Sergey. They try to take some ground on the D side, but get eaten up. This Dynasty off the break shot still dialed in. Five bodies up for Dynasty. It's five on four situation. Yeah, Dynasty up by two here, up by body, up on field position. Really big advantage here in this match. Red Legion's gonna have to really pull something out in order to get back into this match, tie it, and then try to go for the win. And they're gonna have to do all of that within four minutes and 13 seconds. Sergey's in that snake trying to do what he can. Yeah, Sergey getting into that wedge. He's got Schonauer in front of him. <clears throat> That's the battle here on your screen. As we crack that four minute mark, also good penetration up the middle. Here for Legion. Man, as soon as that sun goes down, it sure cools off. Desert in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to some people today, they're like, we're in Vegas, it's supposed to be hot. I'm like, <laughs> not in March, man. Yeah. Sergey up over the top, looking to shut off some moves over there from Dynasty, but Dynasty's not looking to go anywhere. They're up by two points with less than four minutes. And Legion You've got to go forward. Legion getting into the snake. Top side. Lamoy, it looks like. And, and uh, J Rab backing him up. So, <clears throat> yeah, so Malloy in good position. Sergey as well, too, trying to push the issue here down a body. Still five alive for Dynasty, just crossing it up. They're gonna be losing that back center though with Margot getting pinched out. Not much he could do in that situation with uh, Legion and both snakes. Oh, Danny Schonauer sees that Sergey's looking inside. He's gonna run through and potentially trade out. Might be seeing a penalty, both of them asking for it. Neither one gonna get it though. Sergey giving the referee a piece of his mind on the way out. Off that, good communication back and forth and a little move. Oh, they get a shot in on Malloy as well too. Might have been Frazier, might have been 
Archie, maybe Greenspan. I love that Malloy's playing more of the one position, you know, more offensively oriented for Red Legion, but it's going to be tough for him to pull out as many games as he usually does in that position. Oh, Dynasty dropping another body. Dropping another body, Matty. And another. Who is getting these kills? It's got to be someone in the middle we can't see, Matt. Oh, it's Kirill. So Kirill. In the center 50. With a little bit of a three pack. I don't yeah. think Dynasty had any idea that Kirill had filtered up into that spot because <laughs> they're all walking off looking very puzzled. That was a big, big point for Kirill there. Shot three guys by himself. So there's a one. Down by two points. Yeah, one point spread. That goes on the list. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, again, Pate Smith Law last year giving out some money for move of the uh, prelims and on Sunday. And that's definitely going on the list. You're down by two. It's not looking good. You do not have outside contained. And Krill Peridney, oh, le le uh, you know, leg legend in this game, gets that three pack. Huge. <laughs> In the pits right now with Legion. What about your gun? What about your gun? Bay damage, huge point here. So there's down by two. There was the hero of that last point, Kirill Peridney. Yeah, this is massive, man. It, this is a big moment for damage. I can't even remember. I'd have to go back and do a little homework to see when was the last time Tampa Bay dropped two games on day one. Feels five like it's been five, a while. Maddie. Five on four, Matty. Matt, uh, damage with the advantage. Hurricanes are sitting back too much, Matt. They got to get in this. They got to get outside before they decide to start blocking it up. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Tampa Bay damage down by two. They need to get one more kill before they can start flying up the field. Hurricanes have a good defensive spread, but they're in the back line, so if, so if damage can get outside and get into the snakes, they can penetrate forward and get those kills on the cross. Well, Rainey goes out D side. Uh, Keith Brown gets into the insert bunker right behind the snake, Matt Dorito. I think that's Rainey. <clears throat> damage right. feeling out into the corner behind yeah. Keith Brown. Edward's gonna give Keith a little help, and there goes Damage, gonna launch into the top side snake. Keith's going to launch in the bottom side snake. Yeah, Keith has the ball right now. It's up to Keith to win this point for damage. He's going to wrap and put pressure on the back center. He's going to wrap and put pressure on the wing on the D side, the top side of the field. Wrap and put pressure across on the other Dorito. And eventually on the temple on this side. They are definitely playing this at, with the right timing. They're making these nice, crisp moves up the field. Only a minute and 35 seconds left, but they're in a position to yeah, start yeah. launching the attack. I just feel like they Hur need to win it with more than a minute left. I think you're right. Hurricane's not giving them much, though. That's that back center we talked about that Keith would take advantage of. Yeah, Hurricanes did not put themselves in a position where they could hold this off. He got the wing that we talked about. Now it's just a two on five situation. Tampa Bay damage with all the spots and all the bodies. Going to win this with over a minute left, yeah, which is what it, they needed to do. Rich, it really is starting to look like defense does not work on this field. I just haven't, we saw it a couple times this morning, but for the most part, if you're trying to play, try to pocket up, or you're trying to play across the back line, it doesn't seem to be working very well, unless the, the team you're playing against is making a bit, bunch of big mistakes. That's the caveat, right? If you if you get a couple kills on the break, if the other team decides to stay in the middle of the field, knock it outside, then it looks like you can play defensively on this field. I just think that might be very a deceptive. false sense of security. Very deceptive. Yeah, it seems like a bit. I just don't think that's going to work, maybe. Yeah, if, and if you're listening and you're playing tomorrow, please, please stay in the pocket. <laughs> Do not get outside. Do not go forward on the tapes. It's, it's definitely the way to win this field. <laughs> Man, this is a game. One point. Brian, you good? Yeah, both, both games in this set. We thought this was going to be a good set, and sure enough. All we asked for, we asked for is good games. <laughs> yeah, tense moments in the damage pits. It would be a bit of a disaster. They drop, drop two games in one day. So two minutes and nine seconds left. <clears throat> Can Legion do it again here? Tie this match up with San Diego Dynasty. Dynasty five alive on the break. Yeah, five alive for both teams. Still in positions for both teams. In fact, identical positions for both teams. Yeah, doubling up that back center for Dynasty, but getting that body out of there. Legion, a little bit better field position there in the top of your screen, getting into D3. But yeah, still five on five. 
<clears throat> Karzlev going to make the low crawl sneaky, on the sneaky. outside. Yeah, yeah sneaking up. So we have another uh, award for most creative move. That's not going to be it, though. Karzlev did get caught. Good oh. zone control. Oh, and looks like Sergey taking the walk as well, too. I was going to say, if he got in there and no one knew he was in there, he could have shot three guys. But yeah. Red Legion's going to drop this point. Yeah, Kirill. They probably should concede. They should concede this. Yeah, it's, two on five. Five. it's two on five. You have a minute and 20 seconds left. Unless, they, unless they don't care about the margin. Or, sorry, unless they're super concerned about margin. But they had the, their win. They only had a one-point win. <clears throat> this will probably be, they dropped this one, two-point loss. Yeah, they're not conceding. They're going to let it ride with Malloy and J-Rab as we reach the minute mark. Yeah, it's a two-on-four. Is that right? Yeah, two-on-four. I concede this point. Give my guys a chance to start over with five bodies, right? I mean, obviously, we all have our different styles. It's going to be tough for Red Legion to win this point. It's going to be certainly tough for them to win this point and come back and win another one. j Rab gets taken out, so it's a, a lot to a little on the body count. Look who it is again. Mr. Consistency, Archie over there. Yeah, Archie playing really well right now. Letting the clock go, trying to let it burn down. Two, so not to come two back battles, though, for Dynasty. Two big battles. They had, had to come from behind victory against Diesel. They were down by two with, like, two and a half minutes left. And then they were down by one here against Legion. So facing some adversity. And this field certainly presents challenges for teams. You know, it's a different field than we're used to playing. You can't you can't hold one side, push one side, really. You know, you've got to get penetration on both sides. And then that, that middle looks so tempting. Easy to get up there. Great shots once you get up there. Thank you. Good win, Dynasty. Good win. Damn. Yeah, so <laughs> Dynasty, and they get in their meetings tonight. They're going to have a lot of good things to talk about uh, to sharpen it up for tomorrow, but still with the two wins. So just, you know, and, and it's it's tough to, to have to ride that road, to have to have two come from behind victories. But <laughs> if you see, you're still 2-0. Oh, you got to do what you got to do. Now you, have, you learned a lot about this field. For sure. And, you, and you're doing a lot for your next couple matches, right? You're not just cruising. Yeah, let's listen in real quick. Up, oh, actually got to jump back into this point, and this is a crucial one. Tampa Bay damage. Can they do it? And they have a come from behind victory to go one and one today. Damage doesn't shoot. Uh, three shooters on the break, two runners. Doesn't look like they got anybody on the break. There is a check for one of the Hurricane players in the corner, but Hurricanes do get to the top snake. Yeah, Damage takes a huge bite in the middle of the field, though. Damage loses their first player, Matty. Four and five advantage for the Hurricanes. Yeah, but Damage is going to lose this body as... Hurricanes drop a body, Matty. 44. So D Damage got up there and looked inside, and then Hurricanes made that move up in uh, that top side snake. Yeah. And Damage just had no idea it was there. Who was it up there again? Uh, I couldn't see who that was for Damage, but just 26 seconds left to go. Hurricanes yeah, Rainey in. taking the walk now. Another damage. Only one damage player left alive, I think, Matt. Yeah, Hurricanes looking real good to try to seal up this victory and go undefeated on day one. And they are dealing with some injuries, too. Nick Ripple playing with a broken foot. Horn. No pate. Hurricanes still have four bodies left alive, and they're going to get another point here, Matt. That'll be good for the margin. Yeah, they only had a one-point victory against the Ironman and now going to take a two-point victory. Well played, Hurricanes. Against the Hurricanes. Or, sorry, against Damage. Man, what a... Yeah, not... I would not want to be in those meetings. <laughs> not as an active Joey pers is, participant. Yeah, no, yeah it's a watch certainly as a spectator. Yeah, can we get a camera on that? I, I, you could sell tickets to that for sure. <laughs> a little pay per view. Thank you. Thank you. So congratulations to Dynasty and the Hurricanes, both going undefeated today, both fighting through some tough matches. Hurricanes took down the Ironman by one, and damaged by two, and Dynasty. Uh, squeaking one out against uh, AC Diesel and then now against Legion. So that's going to do it here for day number one of the prelims battles. The 2024 NXL Las Vegas Major. Matty Marshall with Rich Telford starting it out bright and early 7.15 a.m. here wait. in Las Vegas. It's going to be Uprising taking on Paintball Fit and the Brooklyn Bears taking on Chicago Aftershock and it's going to be pretty cold tomorrow morning. So it's going to get uh, pretty fun. Wild It's the best teams in the world throwing down so he's going to win this first big event. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks, Matt. I say just give them hell. I say just give them hell. I say just give them hell. Running with the wolves, gonna show my teeth. Cause it feels like the world's coming after me. The only thing that will set you free is the back the hand of the one that feeds. Just give them hell.
say just give them hell Just give them hell. Give them hell.